Ready? Uh, yeah, ready? Okay, uh, we're gonna do a temporary tattoo on the bottom of her forearm. Uh, I'm gonna be displaying a uh, cheetah effect, so if you're kind enough to hold the camera there, we're gonna get right to it. Just use the noise, right? It's kinda noisy here today. I'm just gonna go down here around. And one thing is, is uh, don't don't put the needle too close to the bottom of the forearm because you don't want to stab her. So I'm kind of doing a ripply effect, kind of shading to demonstrate like uh, let's say ripples coming out, shiny particles, whatever you want to call it. It kind of represents uh, a nice little effect of uh, of a gleam. Let's say an aura in outer, outer space. Uh, let's say a nebula, right? When it blows up or something. And for the sake of it, uh, we are at the flea market, and it's kind of busy here today. So right here, what I'm doing is just uh, kind of some highlights for the background. Which I'm gonna shoot them over again with the purple. Or if you want a blue, blue will look better. And uh, I should be wearing a mask now. Um, I should be wearing a mask now, but for the sake of our recording, I'm not. Because that way you cannot hear my uh, vocal communication. Start a little effect there. I'm gonna shoot it with some uh, EPG blue. Uh, this is actually some paint that Pache makes, so they're promoting it. Um, I had a hand in it, so uh, you know we're using it because uh, they're basically the sponsor of this uh, tattoo paint, right? Which it works really good in my opinion. And as you can see, like the blue, it actually pops up, it, it contrasts, so I may want to do the cheetah prints up here. I think it would be better if you leave it, if you leave the sparkle here. I think if you leave, this is just a suggestion, I could go over it here, but I think it would look much better here if you do it here. I'm going to go in black, okay? And uh, another thing I did not mention, it's always good to ask the customer, for example, um, if it's okay to touch them, because usually it's always better, uh, just, it's just a sign of a courtesy to uh, explain that I'm not going to do nothing to them or put my hands on them, right? And then do something wrong. But we're going we're gonna to hit it with some black here. Okay. Uh, let me to go do that. Okay. So we lay the stencil here. Just start shading one by one. And then uh, don't kind of follow a format here because if I put this here and do this, um, kind of play around with it, move it around a little if you do it. You know, get loose. Do whatever you want with it, but don't make it look, uh, how could I say, like a pattern. Kind of put your feel in it like an artist. Holding the stencil there a little tighter, making sure that it doesn't rip up through uh, the ripples. Uh, I am doing it on skin, so it doesn't lay as flat as I want it to. Okay, and then we'll uh, get a little closer view for the cameraman. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm holding the stencil nice and tight. Not, well, not that tight, but making sure that I don't get any overspray. Keep your overspray down to a minimum. Like I said, I'm playing around with it. So that way I get the full effect of the heat up here. lighter tones or darker tones kind of play around with it um, we, what we could actually do is make it really dark here and then uh, contrast them really light over here like they're kind of fading away kind of bouncing off the skin that's a good effect too
Okay. We have it there. I think I want to rip a couple more ripples here. What I mean by ripples is since I'm filling in cheetah prints, you could call them um, stencil effects. It's up to you. In this case, I'm, I'm kind of rippling it. Okay, now would you like some shade in here or you want some up? I think, uh, you know what I think would bring this out more? You could get the purple, but it might contrast a little over darker. I think the blue will look nice with some purple. First we'll shade the blue and then hit it with the purple. And then I, you gotta, I think you'll agree with me that you'll like it much better. Okay, voila, that's the effect that I kind of want. So we're going to shade a little bit of blue, just in the background, just to kind of bring it out. But like I said, I should be wearing a mask, but for the sake of uh, explaining, um, you cannot hear me through the mask. So um, at this point, I'd rather work without one, so that way uh, I can describe what's going on. Thank you. Okay, uh, can you uh, show your arm a little bit here? Okay. We can also contrast with the blue. Uh, we can actually make it darker from one end and go light to the other. In this case, I think I'm gonna make it darker here and kind of fade over here. That's what I wanna do. I think it'll look a lot better. Do whatever you want with it, just don't over clutter it. The point is, is to use our technique. What do you think? It's looking good, right? Okay. Now, usually, um, the reaction from the customer, when you know that you're doing a good job, people will let you know. Um, if you were really actually doing a bad job, I think you would. Uh, she would say stop, which is not a good sign. It's just the reality, you know? <laughs> Believe me, I've been through it tons and tons of years, you know? It takes years of um, criticism. I'm gonna put a little more uh, sparkles there. It's kind of like a little aura there, right? Hmm. Okay, uh, cold still here. There you go. Kind of doing like a little uh, lightning effect. If the camera might be getting here a little tighter, it's better for me. There we go. And it just becomes the same old thing. It's uh, going back and forth. Just kind of uh, making it look a little busy. Just so it doesn't stay to the same old boring uh, one one part of a tattoo, right? I want to make it look fancy. And however, uh, I am gonna hit that with some blue there. It's actually coming really, really good. It's kind of the effect I desired, actually. And, and actually, she's ahead of the game because I didn't, I'm not even asking her to roll her sleeve up and she's actually participating. She gets the point, which is very rare today. Hmm. Why 
Oh, yeah, too, right? I'm gonna hit it with some uh, purple. Uh, actually, not purple. Actually, the blue would look better. Yeah. Hey, we use a lot of blue here, by the way. Uh, well, you're generally gonna stick to uh, black paint or uh, blue, uh, red, and purple. Um, you could stick to your other colors, but uh, this is the general basis of a tattoo. They're the most common, I would say, colors. And if you notice um, how it shifted to actually lighter blue here, it's because I hit it with white. People must be wondering how come it looks a little greener here because remember, flesh tone, if you mix it with the blue, it's going to contrast to a green. Why? Because you forgot to add the white background on there, right? So I actually got two, three tones here, you know, which is kind of nice. Add a little white spark on there, right? Gotta admit, that looks really good. I like that effect. I love the doing on shirts, it still doesn't get played out. You gotta jazz up the arm, you know? You gotta get loose here. You gotta uh, actually feel it. And that's about it. Uh, here we got a cheetah print, kind of with some like little sparkles here. It went kind of from my outer space to like uh, blowing up lightning thunderbolt, right? And that's it. That's basic uh, tattoo 101 there. Um, and the paint I was using was from uh, Pache. I recommend that you uh, get some. It's actually, you can look them up online. It's www.pache.com. If you have any questions, you can also ask for Chuck. And if Chuck is not there, you can also ask for Valerie. Thank you.